and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. Let's have some fun. We have some crazy decks today. Are we going to be winning tons of games? Probably not. Who knows? But we're going to try. <laughs> all, right, all right, our first deck is a double Jarvan deck. So the theme of this deck is to be able to put multiple Jarvans in play at one time. So looking at Jarvan, Jarvan says, whenever you attack, pay my cost to summon me challenging the strongest enemy. So again, pay my cost. So usually the cost is six. Now you can only have 10 mana in a round, so you can't play six twice. But if we reduce that cost, maybe make it five, then once we get to round 10, we can have, um, if we have two Jarvins in our hand and they each cost five, whenever we attack, we can put both Jarvins into play attacking at the same time. That's pretty cool. That's what our deck's gonna try to do. Now that's really difficult to pull off because not only do you need multiple Jarvins in your hand, but you also need to reduce their cost and you kind of have to be alive at round 10 <laughs> and attacking. So that's not easy to do, but we're gonna try. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, mobilize, be able to reduce the cost of our allies in our hand by one. So this is like our main way to be able to make Jarvan cost five. Um, as far as finding Jarvan, we're gonna have King Jarvan that can draw a Jarvan. And even if we have like one Jarvan in our hand, we're probably not going to play it. At least we're gonna, we're going to try to hold it onto our hand because then if we play King Jarvan, we can summon a second one. So that's a way to be able to get two Jarvins in our hand. Also, another way to find more Jarvins is counterfeit copies. So we're going to have counterfeit copies to be able to put Jarvins back in, into our deck to be able to, to redraw and to find. And so we're going to have a lot of card draw to look for more Jarvins. Um, now, if we if we mobilize, and if we have like a Jarvan in our hand, we mobilize. Now our Jarvan costs five. Then we counterfeit copies. We'll put four exact copies of four five cost Jarvins back into our deck. Um, so then we can find another one. So then we, so, you know, we can, we don't have to wait till we find two Jarvins and then mobilize, you know, we can mobilize if we want to, and then get a five cost Jarvin and, and so on. All right. Other, other things. Um, if we, uh, uh, let's see. Also, we're gonna have one chief mechanist Zevi. Draw a card, give it fleeting, create an exact copy. There, therefore, we could draw two Jarvins, <laughs> right? You know, because we, they would both be fleeting. So again, we'll have to get pretty lucky to get this to work. But we'll also have a couple of stress testing that could remove the fleeting, and then we can just have like multiple Jarvins in our hand. And then maybe we also draw multiple mobilizes from the Zevi, and then make both, you know, make those Jarvins cost less. Um, another thing, our other champion is going to be Victor. If we do play seven created cards and level up Victor, then our created cards will cost one less. And so that could be create, you know, if we create more Jarvins from counterfeit copies, then leveled up Victor can make those cost less. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that we can do this, but it's going to be really difficult to pull off. I'll honestly be surprised if, within just five games if we can pull off the combo of getting double Jarvan. But we're going to try our best. Um, other things in here, um, you know, so we're going to be, you know, filtering through, look, filtering through looking for Jarvan. So we'll have like some treasure, Zonite Urchin, Rummage, you know, all of those. They can discard uh, cards and draw other cards. And so we're going to have a lot of things that create cards. Like Egghead Researcher creates a dragon. We probably don't care about that dragon. We'll, we'll use that to discard. You know, like the Sergeant creates the four Demacia. We can use that to discard. Same with like the Mushroom Clouds, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we'll have a, a lot of like created cards. Um, obviously, Basilisk Bot and Victor will have a lot of created cards to kind of discard and, and uh, rummage through our deck. So let's go ahead and, and give it a try. We got Double Jarvan. It's meme tier day. We're just playing it in normal because we're just doing crazy stuff. <laughs> we're going to be playing our Earth board. Yeah, that could be like the hardest part of this is that we kind of have to be alive <laughs> whenever we get to the late game. And that's not a guarantee just to be alive. Okay, we got King Jarvan that can draw a Jarvan. Um, maybe we don't need to keep King Jarvan in our opening hand, though. Because, again, we kind of have to be alive. Let's mulligan that. Let's mulligan the stress testing. Stress testing is great in the late game, but discarding stress testing early on, we could get, like, an expensive card that we can't play anyway that's fleeting. And so we don't want that. We haven't gone full Earth board in a while. Okay, so the bot's going to create some ignitions for us to discard. Ow. Alright, so it looks like they are an ephemeral deck. Azir makes ephemerals. Makes sense to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, double Jarvan. We're going to be trying to, to get multiple Jarvans in play. Soul Shepherd is spooky. Like, these are... This is scary. This is very scary. These are going to be very large ephemerals. This is very scary. Alright, so I think... Alright, first thing I'm going to do here is just fight their... Um, do I, I kind of want to fight the other one, too. Because I think that they're going to play something like Haunted Relic or something like that that like, makes like the multiple ephemerals and like, like that's what they're doing here and then they're all going to get like plus three, plus three. I think I need to fight both of these. So I kind of need to kill all these, these things. Get them out of here. Still be able to play Zonite Urchin. Because, yeah, those things, these Spectral Riders would have been huge. They're already 3-3s. Three -three, they would have been 5-5s five if we didn't just do that. Okay. What do we got up next? Keep some treasuring. Or I could play Victor and start going with Victor. I guess it's probably best to do this. Start hex core upgrading, maybe get like an um a lifesteal Victor. Maybe like tough, lifesteal. That kind of stuff. So if we do have leveled up Victor and how it makes the created cards cost one less, um, you know, like Zevi does create, you know, the exact copies of cards, they will cost one less. Again, our deck takes forever to do stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't like our opponents killing us. Our opponents are just killing us over here. I don't like it. I kinda need to just play Zevi and block Hecarim. Gosh. Yeah, this is why we kind of had to just block Hecarim. This is about to level up. And then this is going to give them plus two, plus zero. Man, this is bad. Oh, I guess, yeah, Hecarim's a 6-6 six, six now, so yeah, this game's just over. I can't, I can't kill the Hecarim. GG's. <laughs> My opponent killed us too fast. <laughs> we need to play against people that don't kill us. Where, where are the opponents that don't try to kill us? Alright, unfortunately this deck does a really good job of killing us. We're saying that we need to play against decks that don't kill us. But... This is a very aggressive deck with lots of fearsome. Okay. We found a mobilize. We kind of need to wait till later on. Like, if we want to do our thing, right? Like, I can't really block that thing anyway. If we want to, like... You know, do the double Jarvan thing. We gotta wait on Mobilize. But if we want to have, like, the best possible chance of winning, we need to cast Mo Mobilize right now. So I guess we just cast Mobilize right now. Okay, so they didn't play anything there. That probably means they have like a good amount of like the 4-1 Fearsome cards. 
Yeah, using the gem to turn on Nightfall. That card's also really good. Yep. That's pretty tough. Okay, at least I get to block two of these. The Diana, of course, is about to be leveled up, and then you know we'll be able to challenge like our Victor and stuff, which isn't great. Really? They had that? Why would they challenge the one three? Well, that's just great for me that they didn't. They could have just challenged the four, like a four three, and my one three can't block any of these. Yes, I don't. So they really helped me out there, but I don't know if we can. I don't know if our deck beats this anyway. Right? Like, I don't know if it's going to matter. Yes, yeah, is normal. So they could definitely be new to the deck. It could be a thing. Some good keywords. Challenger is a good keyword. That's a good keyword. Okay, so I can trade Victor with either Diana or Nocturne. Those are both really difficult cards to beat. I probably have to trade with one of them. Maybe it's here? Like, these can kind of block Fearsome. Yeah, we gotta kill Diana. Diana just kills things for free all the time. No, I mean, we can't really trade on... D like, Diana will have the Quick Attack Challenger, and it will just, you know, kill all of my stuff for free. So it's like, yeah, I could kill the Flight, and then... But then, then Diana just kills... Like, if I kill the Flight, then Diana kills uh, Victor for free. Another Diana? Chill. Why can't... Why are... Like, our opponents just do not chill. Why can't our opponents just chill? Just a little bit. I wear the crown and bear its burden. Dude, yeah, there's... You would think there would be some chill in normals. These no opponents have no merit. chill. So good. Alright, well, we gotta do this. Don't really have a choice. They have four choices there that, that's most likely multiple the flights that are elusive that should kill us. <laughs> so yeah, they just had multiple Nocturnes and multiple Dianas. Oh, great hand. Alright, let's let's go to the next game. Yeah, then obviously Doom Beast kills us. And... That deck's great, you know, like that's that's an awesome deck. Okay, so Lucian Zed's not as good as our last deck, but it still is trying to kill us right away. All 
All right, so we're going to have Jarvan mobilize. And of course we wait till next round because then we just we just have like the ability to maybe draw another unit so that you know we can reduce the cost of another unit. No reason to cast the mobilize right now. I guess I could wait till next round still. Because let's see, I mobilize and then I play sergeant and we have one mana. Or I just play sergeant. Yeah, let's just just play Sergeant, and then next round we mobilize, then we have four mana. We did it! Second drive in! We did it! Alright, we have to survive till round 10. So Victor, sit back, like play some defense for us, Victor. We need to survive till round 10, and then we can do it. Then we can attack and put multiple Jarvins in play. Please, opponent, have a bad hand. Let us survive. No, that doesn't, that's not a card that lets us survive. Regeneration. Ooh, another mobilize. We'll be able to do it round eight. We will have the attack token round eight also. Opponent, just don't kill us, please. Just don't kill us. We're trying to do cool things. We could actually do it. We could actually double Jarvin. I've got your back. Okay, stress testing. Thought about doing rummage the hex core upgrade in the stress testing way, but then you know we get like the fleeting card from stress testing that we just wouldn't really be able to use. Okay, life steal, life steal regen. I'm so worried about repost, right? Like if I block with Victor on Lucian, I'm worried about repost. You will not prevail. This will attempt to kill Lucian, and won't level up Lucian. That's why I didn't use. That's why I didn't go Victor. Um, okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Bannerman. Vanguard Bannerman.
Why do these people have no chill? They have no chill. Alright, gotta hope we survive. If we survive, we can combo. Next round. If they don't kill us. You know, they don't have relentless pursuit or anything that kills us. Uh, prismatic barrier kills us. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It kills us very much. Man, it's like not only are these decks like really aggressive, but they also like have all their champions all the time. <laughs> you know? We are so close though to having double Jarvan. We are so close. Okay, this deck doesn't kill us right away. They may kill us later, but maybe we have time to set up. Alright, so Zevi, you're gone. Jarvan, you... King Jarvan, you do draw a Jarvan. But I'm gonna send you back. We'll hopefully find, like, cards that create things to discard. Good. <clears throat> Egghead Researcher creates something to discard. Sergeant creates something to discard. Yeah, this is this may be the story of like all of our decks today. <laughs> to be honest, all of our decks are like doing something kind of crazy, but they're not. We may not get very many wins today, and that's okay. If you're if, if you're expecting wins, then this meme tier Monday may not be for you. Can we double Jarvin? All right, so I don't want to. I don't want to trade with the Sum Treasure because of Maokai. Like, if they have Maokai here, I want to be able to fight Maokai with single combat with my four power unit. Still, even that thing is something that I kind of have to fight. That Sea Scarab is basically Maokai. It's just going to sit here and toss all day. Can't let that happen. Ugh, and they also have Maokai? Alright, so we haven't found any mobilizes or Jarvins yet. I'll hold on to the Fort Demacia. Okay, that card can grab a Jarvin. We had the setup last game. We were so close. We had the setup. Give me the stuff. Stop me happy. All right. Well, looks like Maokai is going to obliterate our deck very soon um, I think I need to try to like find challenger with Victor to take down Maokai obviously if they have jaw hunters that's terrible for me but you know we gotta risk it I think Be 
15 now. Yes, Challenger! So of course that means I have to cast this Mushroom Cloud. Once you know, that can do some damage. Okay, that's good. Counterfeit copies can help us not die to a Maokai. No, not Jaw Hunters. Not Jaw Hunters. MK1. There's nothing that I can Hexcore upgrade that would protect Victor from the Jaw Hunters, so I think the Victor is just going to be dying to the Jaw Hunters, unfortunately. Yeah, if you counterfeit the Hexcore upgrade, that would be pretty bad for us. Oh, pass? No challenge? I can just get a pass? I'll take it. Zevi? Yeah, it wouldn't be very good, because it would only be like that victor that you create. It would not it would not work in your favor to to do that. Alright, so that burned one of the puff caps. There's still four puff caps over there. On eight cards. Fearsome. Yeah, they're just burning all the pup caps. They're just tossing all the cards that have pup caps. So they have five cards left. I'm gonna play this. Give them like ten more pup caps. Could be, could be the way to go. But I probably need to play Jarvan. Where is my son? Draw a Jarvan. Good thing I did that before they burned all the champions from my deck. That was smart. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mobilize. Make five cost Jarvins. Now let's make more five cost Jarvins back into the deck. And... Kill this Maokai. While we're at it. Okay, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we get double Jarvan? Yeah, they won't mill us out. But a lot of other things they can do to kill us. No, they figured it out. <laughs> it took them a little bit, but they finally figured it out. If they don't have... Yes, obliterate. If they don't have atrocity, we have a shot. They don't have atrocity. Oh, 
Huh. You dream it? I'll build it. I wonder which Jarvins it would do. No. That's also bad because, like, that's a 7-7, a seven, seven, so now my Jarvan doesn't challenge the Abyssal Eye. I wanted to challenge the Abyssal Eye. Alright, well, we are going to be able to double Jarvan. Who's attacking you? No, you can't attack, because that's just such a good Deadloom Wanderer block. You attack, but you, you gotta block the Fearsome, though. Um, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Double Jarvin! Yes, we did it! Alright, we did it. It works. Double Jarvin. So they, okay, so they, I'm glad to burn that also. So they basically only have Nautilus in their deck right now. The thing is, is like, if they only have one card in their deck, right? Like, if they only have just like one Nautilus in their deck, we can like jump up, put like 10 Mushroom Clouds on like the one card. 10 Puff Caps on like the one card. That'll have to be like next round, of course, but. That was pretty sweet. Double Jarvin. Oh no! Devours. These Jaw Hunters are making the Devours. Because they, they'd already tossed like their Devours. Jaw Hunters creating Devours is not good for me. At least, yeah, we got to do it though, right? We got, we got to do the combo. It's maybe not the best combo of all time. You know, it's not. <laughs> Not the best deck ever, but we got to do the combo. They may just lose this game right now. They just lost the game! They don't have any cards in their deck. Abyssalite draws a card. They need to cast Nautilus and put it back in their deck. And they just didn't do it. We won. We're so good. Double Jarvan too strong. Fine work, soldiers. Fine work. Fine work, soldiers. Yes. Yeah, I agree. The double Jarvan intimidated them. Yep. <laughs> um... That was like if we would do, you know, if we would just like play highlights, right? If we would just, um, you know, if I'd just play a whole lot of games and just try to get, like, if I'd make like short YouTube videos that are only highlights, like that game would go on there, right? We wouldn't, we would ignore like the 10 games we played beforehand <laughs> and just look how good our deck is. <laughs> Yeah, back to a, a strong, aggressive deck, which, as we know, that's the nightmare. But we're going to try our best. Four threes and bad. Alright, so the single combat should be pretty good. You know, try to single combat kill this misfortune. Um, of course. Oh, right. Okay, maybe those were not good blocks. I should have taken it. So this needs to see you attack four times. The problem, of course, is if they have another Misfortune in hand, then they have Misfortune's Champion spell. With a little time, I'll have a break. Keep firing. 
until they're dead on the ground. My kind of plan. Hopefully this works. All right, awesome. I'll be damned. Need to get rid of that thing. Our deck does a pretty good job of filtering, you know, drawing a lot of cards. have more champions <laughs> these are aggressive decks they, they have so many champions just relax just relax Yeah, his crack shots are doing a lot of work. There's first Jarvan. First Jarvan in our double Jarvan deck. Watch me now. Watch this. That just saves one life. It's just not very much life, but every life matters, I suppose. So that's number two. Trying to increase the power of Victor. Tough would not be bad either. Fury's not bad. Okay, Fury's also pretty good. Then Victor takes under three. Gosh, this thing's... Okay, can't do that. What is this? Just saves one life, but So if they, if they have another bounce spell, we lose, of course. That was a tough blade dance, but we need to... So I'm, I'm doing it like this so I can get so I, I can get this ignition in here to get the fifth power on Victor. Instead of doing that single combat then. This has to work. This has to work. They're not doing anything. Hey, Spicy Doritos. Yeah, we're doing great. I, I hate that. Oh, no. Yeah, I hate that. That's... That was the, the another, you know, the third misfortune. Our, our opponents just have all the champions. The third misfortune, that's the perfect misfortune. It kills all three. You know, they hit all three. Yeah, and then obviously they just attack and kill me. So... Yeah. These aggro opponents just have all the champions. They get to attack. Oh, no, no, they don't have the attack token anymore. Never mind. They don't get to just attack and kill me. Right. They already attacked. Okay, it's not, we're not completely dead yet. All right, we need to get, like, as many blockers out as we can. Let's discard Stalking Broodmother. 
or stress testing. Stress testing gives me the extra card, but it's fleeting. Oh, fleeting King Jarvan. Well, King Jarvan would have been a great draw anyway. So that just kind of opens up tor towards the deck of finding a better draw for us. Yeah, they're very fortunate in this game having three misfortunes. Triple misfortune. If he summoned Jarvan three wall, can they stop? If he summoned Jarvan three while Jarvan four is out, does he ask if his son is winning? Oh, I don't, I haven't heard that. Maybe, I don't know the the exact voice lines. I could look him up. There's like a League of Legends. Uh, League of Legends fandom wiki page that has all the voice lines on it. Um, okay, what are we doing? So they're attacking with these. So, yeah, we kind of need to block. Let's get a block over here. Yeah, Crack Shock Corsair. Unfortunately, he's killing us. Puts us down to one, so not dead. But we're all we're all but dead. So unfortunately, we played against four aggro decks that um, had good hands. They had a lot of, of champions, right? Like average of like three to four champions every single game with these aggro decks. Um, they had very good interaction. It was it was rough. Um, so we we ended up losing all four of those. But we played against one slower deck, and we won that one. And we did get to pull off the combo. So can't can't complain. We got you know took five games, but you know we did it one out of the five games. We got double Jarvan in play attacking. Um, that was cool. So <laughs> that, that's what our deck was trying to do, trying to get that combo, and we were able to do it one time. Um, all right, so there we go. So that's Double Jarvan. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. I know we didn't get a lot of wins, um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the games. We had some fun with them, and hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed seeing uh, Double Jarvan happen there in game four. But that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.